think we need to really fix anything. No. Um, you go make some more bullets. We need ammo. Could use some more components if he has any more. Does he have any more? Oh, he does. Cool. Uh, so let's get those, because I can't seem to find those anywhere. There's always something each playthrough. Um, this time it's components. We've run out of components. <laughs> what can we give you? Well, I have one of those. Um, and I also have... What else would you like? Can I have these two things back? Cool. Yay, alright. Bye. Hope the snipers don't see me. Now, why he comes during the day... I mean, if they specifically say that it's it's really dangerous during the day, and that's why everyone travels at night. I don't know why that guy still travels during the day. I mean, I'm just saying. But I appreciate it. I appreciate the stuff he brings. We have a shovel. Oh, we lost our hatchet. We need a hatchet. Maybe we can even send Roman back out. I don't know. I don't know. Possibilities are endless. Oh. We didn't listen to the radio. It's gonna be funny if this ends up turning into being like the 50 day playthrough. It's random every time. You get a good idea, but you never really know for sure. So nothing's different there. It's gonna be cool. Uh, vegetables. The value is high in trading. We know that. Okay, so nothing new. Same old, same old. Like classical music, make everybody happy. Let's go do something. Um, I don't know. We'll have him go to Sniper Junction. Why not? We will. Oh, she's sick. Okay, so you guard, and you guard, and you let her sleep. We will, I don't know, be better cover users using cover in Sniper Junction. And we're going to take our vest and helmet. <laughs> I don't think I need anything else. I don't know. We'll find out. If we do, we'll just come back tomorrow. It's not... Alright, so... I don't want to go too far. Apparently he can hit, like, here and stuff. You gonna shoot? Come on. And then we'll run here. And then we'll run here. And then we're gonna go down that hole. Easy peasy. Except he's not shooting. Panic time? Why would you panic? There is no panicking here. No panicking here. Oh, he isn't shooting. Maybe we'll just run to cover. Run to cover! There we go. Run to cover! Right here. Bam! Eat it, sniper! Wow, that's pretty Okay, so here's the stash that we've created. Of course, especially it's especially useful since it's dangerous here. Faster person runs, clears all this out, takes it to the stash. Um, then I might even move the stash, run it from here over to here where it's safe, and then have Boris come and clean up everything else. Because Roman only has 10 slots, where Boris has 17, so he can carry a crap ton more. But we'll see. We might not even be playing this game. War might end before, you know, whatever. You see the last pole at the massive building? You're next to at the start of the game? Stand near there. The massive pole. I mean this? The light pole? Are you saying stand next to the light pole? War mine is now up for Excellence in Narrative Award this year at the Independent Game Festival. Woohoo! 
this war of mine actually has like game trailer and stuff. I don't know if you guys know that, but I would check it out. I I had no idea. I'd been playing it, had no idea it had that. But it's kind of neat to watch. There's a couple different ones. The one I thought was the best was the guy that actually, um, he had actually lived through a war. So, I thought that one was pretty neat. I'm pretty sure we've already been in here. Yeah, there's nothing there. Pillar? What pillar, Hannah? This is where the guy was with his baby that we helped. He ran in here. Of course they're gone now. Probably a good thing. He left us stuff in here. We already got that. I made sure to grab that like first time. I think this is all that's left here. Not very much, is it? I kept trying to get up there. I don't know how you get up there. I don't think you can get up there. I've never been able to get up there. I can't drag anything. I can't step up on anything. He doesn't. I don't know. I think that's just for looks. But I would guess that's where the sniper was or something maybe. Up higher. Okay. So I think that's everything. Let's see if we can start moving our pile to a safe place. Oh wow, we can almost, almost take everything. So take that. Hey look, we can make a uh, thing of meds. That'll be cool. Take those. Alright. Let's uh, drop it off. Stand here, safe spot. Right here. Yeah. Run. Right here. Bam. Now run. drop your stuff. So this is our second stash, so we don't have to run through all this, all these shenanigans, have to do all these shenanigans again. The last big pillar, what? Like here? Is that what you're talking about? I got hit right there in one time. Did I not get hit standing there? Come on, sniper. Alright, the ridiculous. Come here. That one made me a little nervous, guys. I'm not gonna lie. So because he keeps hitting these things, I almost think he's like back here somewhere, like on here, this hotel maybe, or over here, because it seems to be coming at an angle. If this is cover, it has to be coming from back there over here, so maybe he's up there on that hotel over there. That makes more sense, actually. If he's over there, that'd be why he's hitting this. Whatever, I'll take it. It's uh, definitely easier to find cover now that you realize where he's shooting. What else we want to take back here? Um. Dooby dooby doo, dooby dooby doo. Well, let's take that and make some stuff. I feel like we should experiment with making stuff. That too. Oh, except we don't have any herbs anymore. You can grow herbs in that garden. I just usually don't. I usually save it for uh, vegetables, but whatever. Mike and Wild Roman can commit suicide. Yeah, he can. He will hurt himself if he's depressed. I would come home and it'd be like, the night is calm. But now Roman has these huge crappy wounds. And you're like, what the poop? So he he's like hurting himself. It's really annoying. Roman is really annoying. <laughs> he is one of those characters um, that it really helps to kind of know how to balance their depression and, and killing and trading and all that stuff. 
Day 41, nobody eats, just go to bed, so go to sleep. Uh, you go to sleep. Oh, hey, look, she's not sick anymore. I just realized that. Yay! So, what can we make? Oh, let's try to make pills. Oh, we don't have, uh, we don't have, um, herbs. We might not be able to make those. Happy. They will let you know if you ever have questions. I believe they use up three cigarettes per day per person. So I have two people that smoke, so that's six cigarettes a day. I have two people that drink coffee, so that's two cups of coffee a day. Um, when they run out of these things and they're depressed, that's when they can start causing trouble. Also, if they go and, you know, have to kill somebody and they feel sad, you go and get cigarettes. That helps them deal with it. Drinking, however, does not help them deal with it. I tried that. It didn't work. It just made them drunk and hungover. And not very useful. Katie's arm is not fractured? Oh, thank goodness. Did she finally get an x-ray, Hannah? Or... How did we, how did we find this out? Letting everybody sleep. If someone comes and visits, I used to say if it was past noon, they wouldn't visit. Now, I say most people come by like 1030. Um, so, after that point, if they're not here, they're probably not coming. Alright, we still have a crap ton of food. My goodness, 12 here. We have 4, we have Five and sixteen. That makes it what, like twenty-one. We have thirty-three things of food. That's pretty awesome. I'm pretty excited about that. Okay, we're just gonna end the day. Nobody's coming. Um, let's go get the rest of the stuff there. But he doesn't have to um, run through it, so I'm not taking anything else. You sleep. You guard. You guard. And then tomorrow you guys can eat. And maybe it'll be the end of the war, guys. Woo! This game is about your city. Oh, hey. yeah. Hi, Cell. Thank you so much for, um, for coming into the channel. I'm super excited you decided to stay. Welcome to the Danger Club. I heard you. Yes, it is about that city. Um, and especially if that's your city, you really need to go online and look at the trailer where the guy, there was a guy from a city that um, survived and um, is kind of the inspiration. So you might get a lot out of that trailer. I would recommend uh, you watch that. Thank you for the follow. Um, yeah, and I, I'm kind of, I wonder if they're going to, like, make a second one with another city, or if they're just going to do, like, I don't know, a DLC or something where you get, like, a different house, or do a different city there, or, I don't know, I'm, I'm eager to see what they do with this game, for sure, there's so many, so many possibilities been raided. I figured that out. Someone tried to rob us. They were aggressive, very well armed. We managed to defend them off. Thankfully, we were all armed. None of us was wounded. Attackers didn't steal anything. Able to defend ourselves. Guys know what that means. Happy dance! Woot woot! Yeah! Couldn't ask for anything better than that, right? So, even day, everybody eats! Yay! Go eat. You earned it. Oh, look, and we found more food as well. They could do a place like Afghan. They could. You recognize the ruined building on the main loading screen? Really? That's really cool. I have, haven't been there, so I didn't really recognize it. But just the fact that you can recognize it, um, they really must have done a good job sticking 
you know, sticking with